Good morning, second graders. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. And it's hard to believe that we're starting our last week in September and the beginning of October at the end of this week. I wanted to reach out to you this morning and point out a few things that will be a little bit different. Uh, so I already have the morning work slides pulled up. The, I'm creating the video, of course, that will be linked here as soon as I finish recording. Please do not forget to check in each day, whether you do it here with the morning work slide link or you're still using the app on our Clever page. It's so important that you check in every day. Some of us are still doing great about marking our attendance, but some of us have slacked off a little bit. And remember, I use that attendance sheet every day to mark you absent or present for the day in second grade, and that gets transferred to your report card. So please, please remember that you make sure that you mark your attendance every day for me, okay? Also, just a couple of other quick changes. Don't forget you can do the pledge, that's still there. Calendar is the same. And as we talked about, we're finishing up the month of September and will soon be beginning October. All right, something that we decided to add for you to make things a little bit easier is when you write out the complete date, we have added a comma for you now. So when you write, Today's date as September, let's see if it'll let me model. Oh, it's not letting me click and drag. Uh, but as you do today's date, you can put a comma between the 28th and the year 2020, the way we are supposed to be doing if we write the date correctly. So don't forget you have that little comma up here to separate the day and the year, okay? Use that in your calendar math today. Couple of other things I wanted to point out to you real quickly is if you're having trouble with using those hands on the clock, if you want to reach out to me, I can help you with that. Some of you are still having a little bit of trouble using those. All you have to do is let me know, send me an email or my message, whatever. We can get on Zoom and I'll be happy to help you with that step. Also, our daily oral language. Big change here that you need to be aware of. This week, you will be completing daily oral language all five days, okay? We have decided that writing is so important that we're gonna start doing our own lessons and little slide presentations on writing. It will not be a part of your morning work, okay? Sometimes you will see it with reading, science, different things, but you will not have to do any journal writing in the morning work anymore. Just your daily oral language, okay? So actually, as you start looking at your checklist for today, you will see that your writing for this week is all in one slide presentation and we're reviewing subjects and predicates and you'll just do a little bit of work each day. Also, you will see in um, our story for this week, if you are in Reading Circle 2 and Reading Circle 3, that we will be doing an opinion paragraph with the story teacher's pet, okay? If you are in my Reading Circle number one, we will be doing some writing as well, but it will be a little bit different. Okay, and I look forward to this week because I do plan on meeting with you live again during some of our reading group times and reading together and doing some activities together. So make sure you look for those meetings and you join in so that you can be a part of that lesson. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to let you know that today on September 28th is National Good Neighbors Day. So I want to uh, tell you it's not a bad idea to reach out to a neighbor, of course, with your parents' uh, permission and let them know that you appreciate them. Maybe you could do a little something nice for that neighbor and uh, let them know that you're there and that you, that you want to always be there to help take care of one another. So reach out to a neighbor, let them know how much they mean to you and be thankful for good neighbors, right? Okay, so have a great Monday, guys. 
And if you have any questions about these changes that we've just discussed coming up with morning work and writing, just you can send me an email or your parents can send me an email or a mind message. Well, I'm here to help in any way if you're having questions about it. So have a marvelous Monday. Can't wait to see you in reading circles tomorrow. Bye.